This week, we are talking about linear transformations in general. First of all, we will talk about linear transformations of random vectors, and we will determine uh, the general properties of such transformations and uh, the statistics and the distribution of the result. And we will look at the special case of joint Gaussians, linear transformations of random vectors, when random vector is jointly Gaussian. And finally, we will talk about laws of large numbers. First, we'll look at a linear transformation of a random vector. Here we assume that a random vector x has n components, and we define a new random vector y, uh, which is defined in terms of random vector x through this transformation. Each component of random vector y is defined through such a uh, function. As you see, uh, this is a linear function of random vector x, meaning that y, uh, every component of y, is a linear function of uh, the components of x, meaning that uh, each component of x is multiplied by a constant real number and then summed up. This is what we call by a linear transformation. And in the general case, where a random vector y has length m or dimension m, and random vector x has dimension n, of course, the transformation matrix, this matrix A here, will be of size m by n. Okay, so here we have m uh, equations like this. Uh, therefore, you have to observe that the random vectors y and x does not uh, do not need to have the same dimensions. And also the, the matrix A here does not have to be a square matrix in general. The first thing we will look at is the mean vector of the transformation. Assuming that you know the mean vector of random vector x, uh, how can we write that? Uh, how can we write ran, uh, the mean vector of random vector y in terms of the mean vector of x? Well, this, this uh, relationship, this equation will help us do that. If you write this for each component of y, you get uh, the expected value of the component y sub i can be written in this way and this summation if you look closely corresponds to this expression here the sum of uh, a sub i j's times x j and j runs from 1 to n this gives me y sub i now at this point of course due to the linearity of the expectation operator i can exchange expectation with the summation and inside I would have this expression inside the sum. And of course, a sub ij is a constant real number, which I can pull out from uh, the expectation. Therefore, I obtain this. For every component of the random vector y, I can obtain the mean through this uh, relationship. And when you put this into matrix form, you get this. For each component, uh, you have this expression. Uh, you see this is A1J. And then underneath it, you would have A2J, etc. Up to A sub MJ. So this is a, a column vector of size M, which gives you the mean vector of random vector Y. And in, in, in the general form, we can write this. Uh, as the matrix multiplication where you have uh, this matrix A times the mean vector here. A times the mean vector of random vector M, uh, X. Okay. If you don't see automatically, you will have to write this out uh, component by component. Uh, maybe you can apply expectation operator to both sides of this expression and then you, you should observe that 
you have such uh, m such uh, equations and when you arrange them uh, you will obtain this matrix equation 